Dillon's Furniture, now at their new location on Main Street, behind Dillon's Country Treasures and next to McDonald's, has all your home furnishing needs. That's why it's quality home furnishings for less at Dillon's Furniture. History was brought to life recently at an event called the Mill Run Rendezvous. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com. The event took place on the Millstone property on Route 50 in Burlington, West Virginia. Men and women, including members of the Wills Mountain Renegades, a club dedicated to reenacting and preserving history, came together and set up a pre-Civil War style camp. The public was welcome as many demonstrations were put on display. Despite heavy rain on Friday, the weekend-long event came together to educate people on life as it was when this area was considered the frontier. I'm Robert Blake and uh, I'm a blacksmith and I do the blacksmith the old-fashioned way and I live in uh, Augusta, West Virginia. Well, back in the old days the blacksmith did everything. He made uh, the kitchen tools, he made your utensils, your knives, sharpened your plows, uh, made nails for your doors. Hand How hot does that uh, thing get? Uh, the fire right there is probably about 21, 22, 2300 degrees. The longer I crank it, the higher it will get, but usually about 2300. And uh, Bob, what's that crank do? Uh, it blows the air down through the pipes and that comes up underneath the fire. You can use it on the hammer and shape it. Now I'm going to square him up so that I could uh, put a little scroll on the end of it. So that's just one little thing to do, make a scroll out of something. Here, 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 anywhere in here is one point. Oh, okay. You cut this card, you can cut it in half or any way, it's uh, three points. If you stick it in here, zero. But if you cut this one in half, the small one, that's five points. Tom, how'd you first get involved? Uh, my friend Bill Ashby up at work uh, has been into rendezvousing for approximately 20 years and he, uh, we and him talked a lot and and he said, uh, Tom, come on down here. He said, take a look at this, you're going to like it. So I went to Fort Frederick for the first one in 2000 and uh, I haven't looked back since. Okay, I'm Ernie Purdy with the Wills Mountain Renegades. This is our first rendezvous that uh, we have sponsored at the Millstone restaurant. I've been in the throwing knives and tomahawks uh, since 1974. And my son was only two years old and I actually held him in my left arm when I threw because he wouldn't, didn't want me to put him down. You run into a competition where you have to throw right-handed, left-handed, and underhanded, and you have to back up all kinds of distance. How was that? Holy Toledo. <laughs> I'll take my best for your close-ups. <laughs> my son, he throws. He's thrown since he was three, four years old. And uh, he even threw in a competition at five years old in Romney and won it. And when he was six years old, he was thrown in the men's competition because there wasn't enough uh, kids' competition. So he, he was good enough to throw in the men's competition. He's still throwing today. My grandson's throwing. Uh, and my son and I competed today but he's still coming in second. <laughs> That's where you want him, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm Chris Estock. Uh, this is our camp. 
This uh, Baker tent here belongs to my uh, cousin Kenny. Uh, we've been doing these for a couple of years now. My name's Laura Polishka. Um, I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but I live in Johnstown, Pennsylvania now. Um, I've been doing this with my fiance for four years now, and I really enjoy it. It's uh, it's relaxing. You meet a lot of very interesting people. Try to keep it to a minimum on stuff, and then everything that we have that we bring modern, we try to hide, just to make it look a little more realistic. What kind of rifle you like, Chris? Or is that just a homemade? Uh... Um, no, I actually I bought that one. Um, it's a 50 caliber uh, Kentucky long rifle. I'm Dennis Deach from Short Gap, West Virginia. I've been into rendezvousing here, this type of thing, since 1963. I uh, tan, tan my own hides, make buckskin, I do flint napping, I nap my own gun flints, I nap out my own arrowheads, and I do hunt with flint broadheads and a longbow. So break the hide down soft. Just brain tanning you take the brains out of every animal's got enough brains to tan its own hide. The early Americans used every part of the animal. It's uh, obsidian. Comes out of a volcano and uh, once you you hit that with a larger hammer or, or a piece of uh, bone and uh, sh shard that off and then you would make arrowheads, knives, or uh, uh, scrapers out of these. These would be used, they would take something like this, just about like that, and they could skin an animal with it. Very, very, very sharp once these come off. I'm Gary Rotruck from Kaiser, West Virginia. I uh, started rendezvousing approximately eight years ago. Me and my friends got into a reenactment group called Wills Mountain Renegades. We do living history. It's basically a, around a 90 year period from the 1750s into the 1840s, right before the Civil War. We're trying to educate the people, the children. They don't teach it in the schools hardly anymore about the way of life. One thing they had to do to survive was they had to eat, and to eat they had to make their own weapons and make their own bullets. The way they made their bullets was they had lead, raw lead, and they melted it down, and then they poured it into the bullet molds. This is a bullet mold, broke down, has two sides, they go together, the bullet, there's where you pour the lead in. You pour the lead in there, in the top, in the hole, and you just pull it off and let it cool. Then you break open the mold and you have one bullet right there. That's in the range, you better ask me to raise your left hand. <laughs> I'm slipping. 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 I'